Um, first off, we're with Penny, and I'm going to murder your last name. I apologize. Kianzad? Kianzad. Kianzad. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and you uh, uh, pro featherweight fighting out of fighting out of Sweden, Elsenborg? Uh Well, I used to, but I'm fighting out of Copenhagen right now. Ah, so sports. Wonderful, and of course you're four and zero, four and one, four and zero. A good four and zero. And let's see what else I know about you before we go in. And you've got a fight coming up, Superior Challenge, May third. Yes. Right. Well, seeing as this is the first time we chat with you, we're going to get to know you a little bit. And the first thing that I'm going to ask is, you know, MMA. Where where did that come from? Where where did that where did that passion grow? Uh, well, it wasn't actually a passion at first because I really disliked MMA. <laughs> uh, uh, but I but I started uh, training at uh, when I was five. I was starting uh, swimming, and I was going to compete and everything, but I didn't. So I I quit swimming when I was eleven, and when I was thirteen, I I just wanted to get back in shape. So I went to the local uh, boxing club here in town, here in Helsingborg. Yeah. So I just started competing after a couple of months and competed until I was 18 in boxing. So I, I was just a former amateur boxer and I did about the 30 fights before I quit. And from boxing to MMA, obviously, you know, the, I suppose the biggest learning curve has got to be, you know, the, the ground game and the clinch work, the grappling. It, yeah. Did, was, was that something, you know, that you, you relished the challenge of, or is that the part of the job that you just have to do so you can punch people? Actually, my first, first experience with grappling was horrible because <laughs> I ended up in a north and south position right away and I got a crotch right in my face. <laughs> So that was that was horrible. <laughs> I just oh I could, no I'm not no I, <laughs> sorry let me get my composure back. Um, of course they were looking for the north south choke right that's yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was and um, the thing was I've been training with uh, quite a lot of girls uh, through boxing because in Sweden it's popular with girls doing just amateur boxing but it was the first time I went to a club where I was the only girl, and there was just dudes, and we were supposed to hug and everything. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, it was just horrible with the feet and everything. But... <laughs> and, <laughs> and, you know, once you got used to it, are you still, would you still consider yourself, the, the stand-up is, the stand-up's your go-to, or are you an MMA fighter now? I can actually say that I'm an MMA fighter now because I am I'm, I'm much better as an all-around fighter right now than I'm just a striker. Because, but I still have my best reflections in in the boxing. Right. That's what I know the best. But but uh, when it comes to wrestling and grappling, I've um, I think I'm a better all-around fighter now. Given the choice, though, between sub of the night and knockout of the night, you're gonna take sub. Up. Sub. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Choke, choke of the night. Wicked. Look, uh, I really love chokes and uh, Kimura, so. Ch choke and the Kimura, so. Yeah, because that's actually in my grappling fights, I always win in the Kimura, I don't know why. <laughs> and I actually never practice it, it just, it just pops out. You know, fighting, you know, there's lots of MMA coming out of Scandinavia now, I mean, and you know, we know Superior Challenge has been been around for a long, long time. MMA is probably more popular there, arguably, than it is here. Do, do you um, do does does that passion from like from the country does is is that important for 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 you as an athlete? Because it just seems that the Scandinavians embrace the sport a little bit more. Is that a, is that a fair point? Um. I I just think that Scandinavians um, have been like really successful in every martial arts, arts in the past years, in kickboxing and Thai boxing and boxing and everything. So I think it's natural that MMA comes so uh, that we fall in love with the sport. And you can see um, 
and from Finland and that uh, and Denmark there are like a lot of good um, um, MMA fighters that nobody's ever heard of. <laughs> That's the thing. Nobody has ever heard of them and they are they are definitely UFC uh, uh, fighters and everything. They should be there. But uh, nobody so I was gonna say I think a lot of people forget about guys like you know like Joachim Hansen even I mean he's he, yeah. he's been around since you know I'm not saying he's old but he's certainly been, a, yeah. been around for a while and it, it it just seems that quietly the Scandinavian scene is starting to grow. Yeah. Um, is again is is MMA still growing in in sort of Denmark Sweden is it expanding? Uh, you know, uh, here in Sweden, there's been a lot of uh, discussions um, over the past months about how disgusting MMA is. You have no idea. There are like tabloids and in the newspapers that people want to ban it, and it's uh, how can people even pay money to see grown ups fight? because yeah, so, it always seems so well received when it's there. You yeah, um, but I think it just like just. Is coming up right now because it's grown so much because of Alexander Gustafsson and, and, yeah. and everything, and it's people are showing it on like uh, normal um, uh, television uh, channels, and people see it and they're like, "Are we paying for this? <laughs> do do people pay for this?" <laughs> so I think because uh, he's so big and the sport is growing, people are just like wondering why are people doing this. Well. It Doing it, they are, and you've got a fight coming up on, on May third. Superior Challenge is an event that's sort of it, it's got a certainly a, a European reputation. It's had some some very big names on it. Some of the best are British. We know yeah. Dan, Danny Mitchell has just competed in the UFC's fought there. We know Jens Pulver. You know they yeah. they get some names. You're fighting you're fighting there on May third. You know how important is this in terms of, of putting yourself out there? Um, I think it's going to be exciting because it's my it's my first time in in uh, Superior and it's my actually my first time fighting in my hometown. Um, I actually took my um, uh, Swedish gold medal in the amateur fighting here in town, but this is my first pro fight, so I'm I, I'm kind of nervous. <laughs> Does it does it put more pressure on you, or is it is that is that a good thing? Does it, you know, is it a is it a, a weight on your shoulders, or does it lift you up? Um, I'm kind of nervous because I just uh, I I came home from Russia in October for the uh, for the Milana uh, Dudeva, and I was scared as hell <laughs> going in there, and uh, not scared of like um, of her. Or anything, it was just like a really big fight, and she was like talked about, and <laughs> so so that's the thing. I'm not scared of uh, uh, fighting in my hometown. I just think that I'm nervous because I have my family here, and people are expecting things, but. I don't think I can get more nervous than I was in Russia. <laughs> and you know, so. one of the one of the accolades you've picked up was the uh, I think female Scandinavian fighter of the year. Uh, yeah. I, the, you know, the, and and that was the first time I, I'm gonna I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name again. Forgive my cowardice, but double K. She won that three years on the trot. Uh, uh, yeah, the Finnish girl. Yes. Yeah. She has, and I was I was really excited. I was really happy because <laughs> uh, uh, that that um, makes my uh, job in uh, Scandinavia done. Yeah. You know, I've done this now, and I really want to move forward. That's why I really want to get into this big uh, organizations after uh, Superior, as, as in Victor and uh, Superior and stuff. Because I know that I'm capable of, uh, of it after the Russian fight and everything. So I'm just hoping. Is, is Invicta is Invicta the uh, is Invicta the, the sort of the big dream at the moment? There are you know you know Cage Warriors in the you know have put together a, a you know start to put together a, a roster of female talent. You know UFC hasn't got a 145 yet, but no. Is, um, um, I think that Cage Warriors is a uh, um, big opportunity too. So between that and Invicta, I don't really, um, it doesn't matter to me, just that I get like more international uh, opponents. Um, the UFC thing is um, if I would ever get in there, 
it would be a 135. But until that, I'm I'm just gonna fight a 145. Is it? Because I'm kind of lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna ask, is 135 a cut that you've made before, or? Uh, um, I just fought in a catch weight uh, uh, at 140, I think. That's the closest I've been. That's 62 kilos. So that's pretty close, but um, I'm I'm just going to do 135 if the UFC calls me. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Now, you know, for people who haven't seen your fights, I know we can, we can get them on YouTube, but, you know, how's this fight? May third gonna go. You know, is it gonna be finished by choke? Are you looking to are you looking to knock this girl out? How's it gonna go? That's the funny part. <laughs> I actually talked to my coach about it, and I'm like, uh, Japanese necktie. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we can put our we put that bet on now. Yeah. Fantastic. You gonna give us a round? Some some kind of choke because um, I've been training with like uh, in Rumble with kind of high level. Uh, choke artists <laughs> and uh, wrestlers and um, so I just started to fall in love with the choke game I don't know so um, and the girl I'm fighting she is um, she's a Thai boxer yeah. and I fought one uh, in my third uh, pro fight and um, my game plan was first you know just to take her down um, and stuff like that. But the thing is, in during um, under the fight, I just f forgot about that I'm a boxer, so I don't need to go on the ground. <laughs> but um, it ended up there anyway, so I TKO'd, uh, TKO'd her. So um, the thing is, before this fight, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna strike, and if I get the chance to take her down, I will. But I'm pretty confident for this fight. But um, she's no joke. She's pretty good. Is she gonna go and, the distance? Uh, she's uh, she's a pretty calm fighter, and she likes to hold the center of the oct octagon and everything. And uh, she's pretty technical, and that suits me well. And, and yeah. can, can is it gonna go the distance? Is this a is this a three? I don't fight? think so. No, because <laughs> uh, um, I'm not I'm I'm not a finisher. But if I get the opportunity, I think I'm gonna finish her with a choke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we keep coming back to the choke in the next. The choke. Time. I really believe in the choke. Patty, we really appreciate you, you know, giving 20 minutes of your time up to us this morning and and, and letting us get to know you. But and before we let you go, is there anybody that you'd like to give a shout out to? Anybody you'd like to thank, or any sponsors you'd like to mention in the lead up to your fight on May third? Yeah, I have my uh, lead sponsor, Six News, and I have Chaos Star in Helsingborg, I have Rumble Sports, and my former club, Kaishu MMA, Lifetime Clinic, and um, yeah, I think that's it. And Body Shop. You can't forget the Body Shop. Body Shop, yeah. <laughs> Give me creams and everything, so... Danny, th thank you so, so much for your time. It's been thank Honey, you, we're talking to Nicholas Dolby later. Is there anything we should be asking him? Uh, I question. think you are looking at Dolby as the next UFC champ. Really? That good. I'm, I'm just saying. You know when we talked about uh, Scandinavian fighters that not uh, nobody sees? Yeah. That's the one. That's right. the one nobody is thinking about, but he's, he's fucking scary. <laughs> How does, so, uh, how does he rack up with someone like Gunny? Um, that's so funny that she said that because <laughs> I told, I told my uh, wrestling coach that after we saw Gunny in uh, London, I was there. I was like, that would be so funny to see uh, Nicholas against uh, Gunny because they have the same background in karate, yeah. and uh, Nicholas is fucking sharp. Wow, I see, uh, he's so sharp. And Joe he Silva. looks yeah, awesome before Cage Warriors now, for next weekend. Do you think that? Do you think that the, the Cage Warriors title will be the stepping stone he needs for the UFC? They're going to come to Sweden soon. I think he should be uh, in the UFC already, but I think that okay, go in there, take your belt, and so Dana White and everybody can see that he's worth it. Because yeah. uh, he works hard and he's. A, He's a finisher too. Uh, Nicholas Dalby and uh, Mads Burnell from my club. Mads is a 19 year old uh, fucking machine. <laughs> <laughs>
That's the one. That's the guy that's gonna teach me the jokes. So look out for him. So what's the name? Mads. Mads Brunel. Mads Brunel. And does is he fighting sort of what what levels he fighting at the moment? He he's he has two uh, professional fights, right. two finishes under a minute. So uh, he he's a finisher too. So look out for uh, those guys. Uh, I'm just hoping that Nicholas gets his chance, like uh, Max Nielsen did. I, I, you see. You're going to be at Cage Warriors, I presume, next yes. week? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be there. Any other fights you're looking forward to? Uh, yes, we have our uh, my uh, teammate, Anna. And uh, Elmos is making her amateur debut in Cage Warriors. And we have Matthias uh, Poulsen, and he is making his pro debut. And Damir, he's making his 10th pro uh, fight against uh, a UFC veteran in Cage Warriors. Fantastic. So, And Yoon is making his amateur fight too. So we have like five fighters on the card. And, and, and is, it, is it a 5-0 and oh night? Yeah, it's going to be 5-0. Oh. Um, <laughs> the thing is, this training all week has been like uh, horrible because everybody is in such a great shape. <laughs> And I'm getting beat up, see? No. See this blue thing on my nose? Everybody's in great shape. Patty, it's been a pleasure. Been a pleasure getting to know you. We'll, you so we'll, keep, we'll keep following and uh, certainly hook up after the fight. And yeah. you can tell us about the choke. Yeah, yeah. look out for the choke. <laughs> gonna be a choke. <laughs> Thank you. Good one. <laughs> Cheers, yeah. Patty. Thank you so much. Just stay right there. Well, Who's your friend? Come on, Sean. Give him a choke. I want to see a choke. Okay, I'm going. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Patty. Thanks so much for your time. Bye. It's been Bye. a pleasure. <laughs>